But Trump did a, has has is having a fundraiser in California. So California, as we know, is a very woke yeah. uh, left wing. But on both co- both the American coastlines, that, that's where the majority of the woke population yeah. and, and the high density population and the, the Democrats are. Uh, but there's a Trump fundraiser set in California, <coughs> and, and the tickets to sit at the table mm. with Trump cost you half a million dollars, yeah. which sounds crazy, doesn't yeah, yeah. it? So it'll be an evening with Trump, yeah. you know, he'll be doing a speech and he'll be sitting at the table. And if you pay $500,000, you can sit at the table. But And all the tickets are expensive. Yeah. I think the cheapest is $100,000 or yeah. something. Sold out. Yeah. Sold out in California. I tried to do something very similar for my <laughs> Oldham campaign. Yes. And I couldn't even fill a table at McDonald's. <laughs> It was a £20 price tag that put people off, Nick, <laughs> on that one. Um, th- but, th- but that's kind of interesting. And, um, of course, California is full of these tech giants, these yep. tech billionaires who, tip- who classically are awoke. If you look, mm. at, look at the guy who set up Twitter, I can't remember his name now, but he, he's a, like a hippie. And, yeah. or, you know, the classically, were, apart from Musk, most of them are very left-wing. Yeah. But I think what this signifies for me is... They are woke. They are, you know, they have particular views, but they're not stupid, are they? Well, well we don't know who, who, who's bought the tickets. Cause well, Cal- people have gone well, half a million dollars. Yeah, I mean, California is a woke state and a very progressive state, but that doesn't mean everyone who lives there is. It just means the vast majority of people are. Yeah. So there'll still be people there who are Trump supporters. Yeah. Um, so I don't think many of the billionaires will be changing their mind because to a certain extent they're insulated they're, they're going to be billionaires anyway yeah um and those sort of people don't usually go cap in hand to politicians it's your way around Do you think they're, so yeah they wait for politicians to come cap in hand to them but there will be people very rich people in california who like trump who have seen the destruction of their state yeah crime out of control homelessness out of control there's something i wrote an article about this about three years ago there's something like 60,000 people sleeping on the streets in California. 60,000. Was that three years ago? Yeah. What is it? When I wrote the article, probably even yeah. more than that. But, yeah. that, but that, yeah. you know, there, there was a couple of million people who were homeless, who were working, hold down jobs, don't have mental health issues, don't have drug issues, but are living in their cars because they can't afford to live anywhere. But they're fully working full time. Wow. But they live in their car. That's a big thing in California. Um, so there's people living in California who, who are seeing the destruction of their state and welcome someone like Trump. Yeah, I think California now has net migration, doesn't it? More people are leaving California yeah. than are entering California because it is just such a horrible place to be at the moment. And even though it's got net migration, if you look to the figures, it's only a net migration. It's not a net migration catastrophe because of the illegals pouring in. If the illegals weren't pouring in, California would be emptied over the next 10 years. Oh, really? It's only the fact that so many immigrants... So illegal. so even though there's net migration, it's far less than it would be because yes. there's so many illegals yes. coming in there as well. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so I think it's interesting, isn't it? He's gone to California. He's going to this thing. It's sold out. Yeah. He's going to be raising a lot of money in California yeah. as well. Yeah. And, I, and you, you just get the impression now, just read, you know, looking at articles, that he's just going to absolutely kill this this uh, this presidential election you would think so i can't believe they've got biden running i really thought they could never tell you a year ago biden was not running because once you do that no one listens to president anymore now you're a yeah. lame duck you don't yeah. be there i understand them saying he's running he's running he's running but i can't believe they're letting him run yeah he's this is i said it before it's the elder abuse <laughs> um, it really is it's elder abuse and surely they know they can't win with him, Dave. He, he won't be able to do the debates. He's going to make a well, fool of himself. Yeah. And is that is that really the best they've got? Well, well, that's interesting because <laughs> what I've also heard is they scheduled a debate, haven't they, with Biden and Trump? Have you heard about this? I knew I, one. Was I think coming. it's in July. Yeah. And Trump wants him to do a drugs test or something. Yeah, but apparently it takes place before the nomination. Of the Republican candidate, uh, sorry, of the Democratic candidate, right? 
So one thing I've heard, and I don't know where it I heard it. It might be a quick switch of who after. Yeah, it may, they may use the debate as a reason. And I don't know if you've seen it on, the, I don't know how much you watch American um, programs or clips, but I've, there is a particular, a lot of the American comedians, you know, the late night yeah. guys, they are horrific Republicans. Yeah. They're just yeah. awful, obscene in the way they fawn over. Demo- Democrats. Over, sorry, Democrats. Yeah. Sorry, for, sorry, apologies. Democrats. Uh, and it's Steve, it's Stephen Colbert is yeah, one, all and all those guys, yeah. they are horrific yeah. Democrats, very woke. They sit there but, going, Trump's bad, and everyone cheers and claps yeah, and laughs. Yeah, it, it that, is, wasn't, that wasn't a joke. I know, it's just horrible. They just <laughs> they say horrific things about the Republicans, about Trump, yeah. and you're right, people laugh, and yeah. it's just not funny. Yeah. Um, but I noticed Stephen Colbert, I think it was, referenced, because there's an article in the New York Post or the New York, well, I can't remember which one it is, but it's a Democratic paper saying that Biden's old getting old mm. and he was talking about the fact that Biden, and I thought this is very unusual mm. for them to be talking about his age suddenly everybody's talking about the fact on the democratic side yeah. and I think they're leading into again they foreshadow these yeah. things don't they I think they're leading into that debate I think tr- uh, Biden's going to be humiliated mm. and I think they're going to say oh, oh as a result of this we've decided we're going to have another nom- nominee for to possibly um I don't think I don't think it'd be for those reasons. Yeah, I think it'll be more like a Vicky Sunak decision. This will put them all off guard. Yeah, everyone everyone is campaigning now, thinking it's against Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden. Yeah, and at the last minute, it's not Joe Biden; it's yeah. someone else. Trump will have less time then to destroy him, to insult him. Yeah. So it could be trying to put him on. And who do you think that might be? I, I, I can't, I've not got an idea. Yeah. Not got yeah. an idea. Hey, I don't know that much about American politics. Yeah. But th- there's no one waiting in the wings that we've heard of. That Michelle Obama of. or Mike, as they call him. Um, no, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. They do this all the time. They always talk about someone famous. They'll, we mentioned Oprah Winfrey before being president and Michelle Obama but these people have got no political experience I can mm. never see them getting yeah. coming forward for that but if they think they're going to lose and there is no one else and Trump's a machine maybe they'll do something different they'll try anything if they think they're going to lose Yeah. did you like that video? I think you did hit the bell give it a big thumbs up comment and don't forget I'm standing for election in Alder, Meath and Saddleworth. So please share this video, speak to your family and friends if you're living in Greater Manchester, and if you live in Alder, Meath and Saddleworth, make sure you vote for me. Catch you soon.